Hey guys, so I am back with a long overdue video. This is going to be a hair video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been showing pictures of my hair. Curls pop in. So if you are someone with kinkier texture or you have issues with like curl definition, and I'm not saying everyone's going to have pop in curls after you do this method. But if you do have those ringlets in your hair and you want them to be more defined, um, I've already put out two wash and go videos which have been very successful because there are a lot of ladies with my textured hair who haven't really had um, anybody tell them exactly how to deal with their hair or have not been able to find a way to define their hair and I'm glad to see that I got a very positive response from that. Now gel is a temporary method for me in order to get the curl definition. I personally have never been one to want curls defined all the time. I actually like a little bit of fluff to my hair, I like it a little straight stretched out, I like a twist out look, I like a braid out look, I like something very full and like mane if you guys get what I'm saying, like I like the, the kinky texture with like a little bit of wave in there. But as you guys see, I'm not like limiting myself, like I, I do wash and goes, like if I do wash and go I'll do it like once a month, it's not something that I'll do all the time. Um, but the idea behind this method, which is the maximum hydration method, is for you to achieve the maximum hydration or the most hydration that your hair can possibly take. Now, um, I guess to be able to determine that um, for this method is if your hair curls from root to tip, which I don't know how I feel about that, but I get it because if your cuticles are smooth all the way from the root to the tip, everything's going to be laying flat, then your hair is going to be extremely defined if you think about it. If you're one of those people who you get under the shower and you have really, really like all these curls and coils popping out, that's because your hair is fully saturated with the water, okay? That makes a little bit of sense, but anywho. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into the specific process of this entire method. There are ladies who have gone before me who have done all of this and quite frankly I've been working two jobs, one overnight, eight hours, actually nine hours, and then right four hours of sleep and then right back into another eight hours. So it's been really rough for me and I just cannot do this step by step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you guys all the information to go ahead and read and enrich yourself with. In the bottom there's Miss DK who we corresponded and she dug deeper and found this method and as I was considering to do it actually the person who came up with this method in these like particular organized steps Pinky Cube actually contacted me and asked me if I would try out the method and you know tell you guys what I thought about it. So I thought it was a great idea so I went into it and this this video is going to be just me talking about the method, introducing it to you guys a little bit, talking about the pros and the cons of the method. Um, and please definitely make sure that you check Miss DK and Piggy Cube out if you want to know a little more. Because there are a lot of you guys who talk to me about curls popping and definition, how you wish your hair did that. And I say never limit yourself no matter what anybody tells you. People will tell you that your hair can't do X, Y, and Z. But what I say is... Um, Unless you've tried it and failed and tried different methods and failed, don't be listening to them, okay? Do what you need to do for your own hair. Now, the other thing I will disclaim about in this video is um, it's not for everybody. <laughs> I'm going to list the pros and the cons of this method. And I just, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, this is the only way to do your hair. No. Okay, there are several methods out there now. There are some that are questionable, and before you get onto bandwagons, I will highly suggest you get yourself a copy of, I don't know, Silence of Black Hair, something that has legitimate information, because I've been seeing some crazy things going on on this YouTube slash hair community about these methods. Like, take this and put it in your hair, and it's going to grow, and I'm just like, people. <laughs> Can we please just even Google will help you out. Google will tell you this is nonsense. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. This is the maximum hydration method. According to me, it's pretty much um, a combination of the curly girl method with what is it, the kinky curly method? I don't even know the other method. But it's pretty much wash and go except it's for low porosity hair so it takes into account pH balance and if you guys know anything about hair and pH balance then you know that basic stuff opens the cuticles and acidic stuff closes the, closes the cuticles so if your hair is low, has low porosity 
even if you put the conditioner on top it's just gonna sit on your hair so what this method does is it allows the basic stuff to open the cuticles and then you deep condition and then you go ahead wash it out seal the cuticles and you're good to go and that's how your hair really does feel a lot more hydrated now the only thing or let me go ahead I'm gonna do the pros and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the cons and then watch out for the video that I'm going to do with showing you guys the products I use, just going through a little bit of the steps that I take, and showing you guys all the results because I have a lot of footage on this method and my hair and what my hair did with the method. So, I'm sorry if this video is long. It's probably going to be long. Anyway, pros. Okay, you get to use great ingredients. Um, I guess it could be looked at as a con as well because it's very exclusive in terms of what you can use. So, ultimately, um, it's going to run you a little bit expen- like, it's going to be a little bit expensive, but the good part is you are using good ingredients in your hair, you're not using anything harmful, you're not using anything drying, um, and ultimately, it's just healthier in general, okay? The second thing is you're going to have great hydration, especially for someone who has low porosity. This is a method that, like, I, I didn't even, like, I couldn't even believe how hydrated my hair felt. I almost felt like, what have I been doing this whole time because I thought my hair was hydrated, but it wasn't really. I mean, my hair has been, felt, like, great before, but this was, like, on a different level. Like, there's something about lifting those cuticles and deep conditioning that... It just really does make a difference if you're someone with low porosity. The third thing is clean hair. A lot of times, um, a lot of methods rely on putting products with silicones or other things to moisturize the hair. But this product is kind of the opposite. It focuses on lifting all the dirt from the hair and then allowing it to absorb the proper moisture that it needs so your hair is almost cleaner like you don't have like if you do the classic moisturize and seal which I am not opposed to as well you are pretty much putting silicones and different moisturizers on your hair but then you need sulfates to take them off and that's kind of how the the shift goes it's like put products on put products off but this one is pretty much clean 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 and then the final step is to put the the good ingredients that moisturize on and then seal it in so I mean, you do have significantly cleaner hair. I did notice that my scalp was doing a lot better because my hair was just clean all the time and so was my scalp. The next pro is pop-in curls, you guys, pop-in. Like even my cousin was like, I've never seen your hair do this. Like your hair has never done this. And I mean, I'm not one of those people who is like obsessed with curls. I don't mind the fro. I like the fullness. I like the kinkiness of my hair. I like that my hair can go there. Um, if I do a wash and go, like I've always been one of those people that if I did a wash and go, it's mostly like once a month you know what I'm saying like I'll do it with gel have it last maybe five six days wash it out and continue on with my braid outs and twist outs but since I decided to explore a new way of living and you know embracing my shrunken curlies on my head um, I decided I'll go ahead and try it and it's not half bad you guys it's not half bad so I know there are a lot of ladies out there who want curls popping this method if you have ringlets on your head they will come out the other pro for this method is the more you do it the better it becomes like your, your hair just gets better and better and sometimes it might take a while for your hair to get used to it and be completely hydrated and um, be completely curly with no product in your hair like that's the whole point it's like you do the method until it gets to a point where your hair your curls are just popping like the second you get out of the shower your hair is looking amazing which pretty much my hair looks like now I've taken a couple shots I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera as much as I can tell when I look at it like this because everything and like my entire head is curly I still do have a little bit of frizz and but that's only because I'm not doing it as often because of how crazy busy I am but I know that if I were doing it a little more often I would definitely get way more curl definition and yeah it would be a lot better now of course I have to give you guys the negatives of this and there are a couple of things that I'm just kind of like eh, not sure that I like about this method number one it's expensive okay to me it's expensive because the products that you use are very specific and they're very they don't have bad stuff so generally they're gonna cost a little more I'm using kinky curly both the not today and the leave-in which to me 
are expensive I had to get this bentonite clay from Whole Foods um, I have to use a lot of conditioner I use the tea tree conditioner from Trader Joe's and it's not that it's expensive because this one's actually a great price except for the fact that my hair is longer like and you guys may not be able to tell but my hair is down here okay and it gets hard because this is like one use of this conditioner is down here okay that's one use so I pretty much have four uses for this bottle which means I need to constantly purchase this conditioner and that to me is a little bit expensive so I personally feel like if you aren't really um, comfortable with spending this much money on your hair it's not going to be a practical method for you the second con that I have is the fact that it is so time consuming it's ridiculous like this method like especially for the first seven days you have to literally do it every day and I understand that you have to bombard your hair with a product and if you can persevere through the seven days you can go on to three days a week um, three every three days but at the same time it's like for someone like me I like working two jobs I have four hours to sleep like I'm not gonna get up and do all of this like and that's why I like to protective style even while I did this particular method I didn't even wear my hair out like I would do the method and then I would twist my hair or braid my hair and put my wig on and go because I just don't have the time to do it like I just don't and that's why um, I'm considering not even doing it as often like I'm considering still doing this but only doing it on my wash day so instead of doing anything else for wash day this is what I would do for wash day and just keep my hair braided but it is very time consuming if you only have one job that might actually work because you get back home from work you go ahead and spray on I use spray bottles for the washing stuff the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda mix um, and then I let it sit for a few minutes, wash it out, and then I do the um, deep conditioning, wash that out, and you can split it into two days. Some people sleep with the deep, deep conditioner, wake up, do the mud wash, and then do another conditioning rinse. And then that's when you do your leave-in, which is right through your kinky curly leave-in and your custard for extra definition and sealing so it's like it's too much for me to do so that's a, definitely a big con for me but if it's something that you can afford to do I would say if you want your hair to look like this it's definitely worth it um, the other thing I don't like about this method is it's high manipulation I think one of the things that I like about protective styling with wigs or weaves is the fact that when I braid my hair it's just left alone like I don't like the constant raking the constant you know and after a while I would say like the beginning of the method um, it definitely took me a lot longer to get through raking my entire head to the point where my hands could run completely through my hair um, now it's a lot better it's a lot faster because I've been doing it more my hair is more hydrated and it's a lot smoother but it definitely takes a lot of time and I think I just like for this year I want to go ahead and just be in my hair less you know what I'm saying like I just want to retain as much length and um, the one thing I do have to say about this is I feel like with natural hair there are two kinds of people. There are people who are high manipulation with the wash and goes and want to do that every day and there are people who do the moisturize and seal route. So it's like wash and go versus moisturize and seal. I think I'm definitely more along the lines of moisturize and seal. And the very final method that or the reason why I don't like this method is the fact that I can't use oils. I talked about the oils with her and she said that um, Technically, if you use the right gel, which apparently can get curly custard with the ingredients in there, it works as a sealant. But I'm like, I, I know that I like to use oils in my hair. I know that they're very beneficial. And right now, the only place that I can really use an oil is either in my deep conditioner or in the mud wash, which doesn't really count. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. But other than that, um, the method actually went really well. Like I said, I will continue to do this method. Um, I will continue to do it on my wash days. I'm not going to say I'm going to do it every day, but it's like I'm not the type of person to do 
like to want to have my curls defined all the time. I will say that because of this method, every time I do a, a braid out or a twist out now, my hair is incredibly defined because it's so highly hydrated. But it's kind of like an exclusive thing because it's like you're either in completely or you're out. You're either using these bad ingredients or you're not because if you don't go all out, it's kind of like it's not as effective. So if you don't like completely follow the method, and it does work, it's just, it's exclusive. Like you have to be doing all of this specifically for it to kind of give you the best results. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I will have the other video about um, what I use and um, exactly what my hair looks like and how amazing my hair feels. And I will continue this if I do change something in my regimen or if I stop doing this, of course I'll let you guys know. Definitely check out Pinky Cube if this is something that you're interested in and something that's practical for you.